Oh, bless the Lord, oh my soul. Thank you, Jesus. You are Yahweh. Alpha. Omega. Yes, Lord, you are Yahweh. You are Yahweh. Thank you, Jesus. You are Yahweh. You are Yahweh. Thank you, Jesus. Good morning, Lord. You are Yahweh. Alpha and Omega. Yes, Lord. You are Yahweh. Alpha and Omega. Thank you, Father. Good morning, Heavenly Father. We thank you. Blessed Redeemer, we give you praise. We appreciate you, Lord. We honor you. We thank you for such a day, such an opportunity. We thank you for such a moment that you've brought us into. We give you all the glory. We appreciate you, mighty God, for you've brought us into your banqueting hall. And your banner over us is love. Thank you, Lord. Blessed Redeemer, thank you, Lord. We bless your holy name. This is the day that you have made that we shall rejoice and be glad in it. We have no choice but to rejoice as long as we work in uh, in faith uh, towards what you have uh, prepared for us. We thank you, mighty God, in the name of Jesus. Have your way, mighty God. Be glorified today in Jesus' name. Speak your word to us, O God. Reveal your word to us, Lord Jesus. Reveal yourself to us, Spirit of God. Glorify Jesus. Have your way in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You are worthy to be praised, O God. Blessed Redeemer, we thank you. Good morning, saints of God. Good morning. Good morning. You're welcome to Morning Word Digest. And um, of course, I'm still your host, Biodiola <laughs> Pade. Uh, yeah, I hope you you had a nice night rest. I trust God that this day, God has gone ahead of you to make crooked ways straight and to level mountains. God has gone ahead of you in the name of Jesus. He will cause you to rejoice in the name of Jesus. I just want to share with you briefly God's word. Um, and I know we've been basking on his word and enjoying uh, a whole lot of insight from the word of god on monday we talked about the fact that the grace of god the word of uh, we talked about the power of his grace or uh, the grace of god being the power of god the grace the power of god uh, uh, and, and on, on tuesday we talked about grace the kingdom culture uh, and um, today we will be talking about thy will be done Amen. I would have said grace, our inheritance, uh, but I want to just put a twist to it and say that will be done. Jesus prayed a prayer in Matthew chapter 6 verse 33 uh, and he made a, 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 a clear expression of these words. Yeah, when it says, uh, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. He now said, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Uh, and it, it gives me the picture of a will that God has written concerning you. And it's so interesting to know that if you are a child of God, God has written a will concerning you. God has written a will concerning you. Praise God. You ought to be, 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 be happy or be excited about that. God is not, we don't, we don't have a father that um that, that that does not care for his children your father your heavenly father has written a will concerning you and he prayed jesus prayed that that will that god has written concerning you that that will be done on earth towards his people that is the 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 the, the, the prayer of our lord jesus that the will that God has written concerning your will contains your inheritance. That which God has written concerning you. That it be done on earth. The Bible says in, in um, the book of uh, Ephesians chapter 1 verse 11. 
I'll read from the Amplified Version. The Bible says, In Him, we also we have made God's heritage, God's portion. Amen. Because without, without you being God's portion or God's heritage or God's son or daughter, you cannot partake of the will. Yes, you have to. The will of God is for the children of God. Amen. You, for you to partake of his will, of, of the inheritance, you have to be a child of God. Amen. So the Bible says in Ephesians chapter 1, verse 11, that in him, now in him, there is talking about in Christ. In Christ. So God, God made us his own uh, by virtue of our union with Christ. By virtue of our union with Christ. As we identify with him by faith, we connect to him. If any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. That's how you get to uh, 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 be part of the family of God. So in him, we also were made God's heritage. That's God's portion. And we obtained, by virtue of us being God's heritage, the Bible says, we obtained an inheritance. Hallelujah. We obtained, we have received an inheritance for we have been foreordained that is chosen and appointed beforehand in accordance with his purpose so god has chosen us beforehand in accordance with his purpose amen so because of that he made us by the, by his choice he made us his heritage he made us his children and he chose us in Christ. He chose us in Christ. So if any man be in Christ, you are a partaker of the inheritance of God. And the Bible says he chose us according to his purpose. Amen. Hallelujah. He chose according to his purpose. Who works out everything in agreement with the counsel and design of his own will. Woo! God works out everything in agreement according to the counsel and design of his own will. Amen. Now, you, you, we, we, we might also say here, yeah, his will is here yeah, talks about his desire or his intention. According to his intention, according to his will. Now, his inheritance that he has for his children is his intention for us it is his will for us it's his will for us that what which god intended for you amen praise the lord he works everything in agreement with the counsel and design of his own will he works everything all the purpose of god for your life is according to the design of his own will so he has written concerning you he has he has kept an inheritance for you and 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 that the, there are there are things he wrote concerning you that the inheritance uh, 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 activate or by virtue of the things he wrote concerning you you have access to some uh, you have access to the inheritance not some you have access to the inheritance but as a son as 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 um, his heritage uh, 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 as you do his work or uh, do his bidding amen the bible says you have access to his inheritance Praise the Lord. Your work is to identify yourself in Christ. Find yourself in Christ. As you are in Him, you have access to His inheritance. You have obtained an inheritance. Praise the Lord. Now, from what we understand uh, uh, um, uh, from the word inheritance or from the word the will, uh, uh, it, the Bible makes, it makes us to understand that the will is also what they call the testament. The New Testament is, is simply the new will of God. Amen. God wrote a new will. Amen. And you are part of that will. In fact, this will he wrote is the first, is the main will, is the authentic will. Amen. Praise the Lord. The Testament is called the will of God. The Testament. Now, now uh, for the will to be effective, the Bible says, he that testated, he that wrote it, he that declared the will um, must die first. You know, my father passed on some years ago and he wrote a will. And until he died, those will 
could not be implemented. I remember many years ago, you know, I've, I've heard him call his lawyer and say he wants to, you know, make, put some adjustment on the wheel. And and he's always bragging, he was always bragging about it then. That look, nobody should put eyes on the on his wheel. Blah, blah. We didn't know the content of his wheel. We don't. We were like, okay, <laughs> we are working for our own. But praise God that he left a wheel for us. And, um, he, he, and until he died, the wheel was not transferred to us. But immediately he died, he shared, he gave his life, uh, the wheel came forth. The Bible made, made us to understand in Hebrews chapter 9, verse 16 to 17. It said, now a person's last will and testament can only take effect after one has been proven to have died. So they have to confirm that he has he is dead so uh, and that confirmation was done on the cross you know you know the reason why they pierced the side of jesus was to confirm whether he is dead on the cross they pierced the side of him to confirm whether he was truly dead and the bible says water and blood gushed out of his, of his side you know uh, and uh the bible says um the, the will can only take effect after one has been proven to have died. Otherwise, the will cannot be, be in force while the person who made it is still alive. So the person who made the will had to die. So Jesus died so that the will can be in effect. So that the will can be put to effect. The reason Jesus died so that his will, his inheritance can be released to you praise the lord he died and you know he died empty he emptied every if i when i was in the study early in this morning you know the lord ministered to me and told me do you know that jesus jesus died empty of his blood that's there was no there was no blood left in him he shed all of his blood it's that important he died empty of his blood the bible says uh, 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 that he told um, what's the name again? Thomas, you know, when when he, when he appeared before them in the room, and he told Thomas, "Touch me," he said, "Touch, feel me," you know, and Thomas filled his hands and all that, and notice that I mean the hollow, filled the wrist where it was pierced. It was it was really hollow, you know. And, uh, uh, John gave an account of of that experience, you know. Jesus literally emptied his himself emptied his blood he gave his full life so he died in full you know that's what i'm just trying to say he died in full so that his will his inheritance can be transferred to us his inheritance can be transferred to the children of god amen so god god offered him God used him as the sacrifice because in the Old Testament, the, 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 the promise of, the, of the, the law on the commands of God will be read, plus all the promises and all that. But after it was, it's been read, uh, they will now sacrifice a lamb. Uh, the blo a blood has to be shed so that that which has been read, the promises of God, the blessings of God can be transferred. To them but in the new testament praise god jesus is the sacrifice amen he had to die he is the testator amen because he is the word of god he is the embodiment of the promise he is the embodiment of the inheritance he is god 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 spoke the father spoke or wrote the inheritance in him hallelujah he is the book hallelujah he is the 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 expression of the of inheritance praise god so for 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 us to receive that inheritance he has to die that it might come to us jesus came to make many sons praise the lord hallelujah and that's why the bible says in john chapter 1 verse 16 that of his fullness have we received because jesus full of grace grace actually is the inheritance of god Jesus was born for what was born full of grace full of grace the inheritance of God is the grace of God hallelujah 
I'll say it again. The inheritance of God that we receive is the grace of God. Everything that God uh, 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 want, wanted to hand over to us is in the grace package. Everything that God has given us for inherit as an inheritance is in the grace package. So grace, which is the essence of God, all that God is and all that God has done, all that God is and all that God has done, this is the inheritance. Hallelujah. The, the, the blessings of God, which is the inheritance of God, they are all embedded in this grace. That's why the Bible says in Acts chapter 20 verse 32, you know I love that scripture. The NLT translation says, and now I entrust you to God and the message of his grace that is able to build you up. Are you listening to me? And give you an inheritance with all those who have been set apart for himself. So the message of, of the grace of God is able to build you up and also give you an inheritance amongst them that are saved, amongst them that are children of God, amongst them that are set apart, amongst them that are, been, that are, that are God's heritage. Are you listening to me? So the, 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 the message of grace, hallelujah, has in, in, in himself uh, 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 the inheritance that, that is accrued to you. Are you listening to me? So grace is the package of the inheritance of God. The inheritance of God is in grace. Now the TPT translation puts it this way that we read yesterday. Say, and so now I entrust you into God's hand and the message of his grace, which is all that you need to become strong. Is all that you need. All that you need is the inheritance. Is the, and it's in the message of grace. The Bible says all that you need. Say all of God's blessings. How many of God's blessings? All of God's blessings are imparted. You know, that's what it happened. That's what happens when you are receiving an inheritance. It's been imparted to you. You didn't work for it. Amen. Your father did. You didn't sweat for it. It's not by work, it's not by your effort. You don't inherit it by your works or by your religion. You don't inherit it by what you do. You don't inherit it by your behavior. You don't inherit it by... No, you inherit it because you believe. Believe brought you, uh, brought you to the inheritance. Are you listening to me? Because you believe. That's how you inherit. Now the Bible says all of God's work, all of God's blessing is imparted to us through the message of his grace because in grace lies the blessings of god all of his blessings amen prosperity is, is the inheritance of god healing is the inheritance of god promotion increase divine protection these are the inheritance of god are you listening to me it goes on but all of the blessings of god are imparted to us through the message of his grace which he provides as what as a spiritual inheritance given to all of us. Are you listening to me? That is the inheritance of God. Praise God. So grace is the inheritance of God. Grace is the inheritance of God. Grace is the power of God, we've learned. Grace is the power of God. And yesterday we learned that grace is the kingdom culture of God. Amen. Now grace is the inheritance of God. Grace is the power of God, is the gospel. Amen. Unto Sotera, unto salvation, unto experiencing the largest of God. Grace is also the, the culture in the kingdom of God, is the way of life. Whoo. Amen. How, 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 how interesting to know that the inheritance of God is the way of life, is the way you ought to live, is the, is the expression, is the culture, is the righteousness of God. Woo! And this uh, grace is also the inheritance of God. The culture, the power, and the inheritance of God. You know, when, 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 when Thomas touched his arms, it, 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 the, the whole of his arms in, in John chapter 20 verse 27, you know, and the Bible says, then, then um, he said to Thomas, reach your fingers here uh, and look 
at my hands. Reach your hand here and put it into my side. He now told Thomas, do not be unbelieving, but believe it. Because, you know, Thomas was always doubting. Like many of us, you, you doubt. But Jesus said, do not be unbelieving, but believe it. Because unbelieving is sin. Amen. That is the new sin. But believing is by believing that you access this grace. Believing that I have emptied myself. I have died. And this grace has been transferred to you. Believe. Believe. It's by faith you access this. Hallelujah. And so he boldly declares that in Christ we also were made God's heritage. And we've obtained an inheritance. We have obtained an inheritance. We have obtained an inheritance in Christ. We have obtained an inheritance. Glory to God. The grace of God is the inheritance of God. And Jesus had to give his life. Emptied himself of his life. Because the life of a man is in his blood. So he emptied himself of his blood. So that the testament... So that the inheritance can be activated. No wonder he said of his fullness have we received grace for grace. Grace for grace. Saints of God, I just came by this morning to let you know that your inheritance has been conferred to you. Your inheritance has been imparted to you through grace. Your inheritance is grace. It is yours. It's your portion. It is your right. It is your benefit. Oh, the, the, the psalmist puts it this way. He said, uh, 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 what's that uh, verse scripture again? Um, about the benefits of, of, of God. He said, bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefit. Uh, and he started listening, uh, listening, uh, oh, listening, is he listening now? Listing <laughs> the benefits of God, you know. Um, let me let me just check out that scripture. Uh, maybe if you can help me quickly really get that. Uh, forget not his benefit in the book of Psalms. You know, because the, the benefits is your right. It's your benefit. Amen. The grace of God is for you. Is for you. The benefits of God, the benefit of this grace is yours. Hallelujah. In Psalms 103, 103 verse 2. Praise the Lord. Let me quickly read that scripture. Psalm 103, verse 2. Glory to God. These are your benefits. They are yours. They are yours. 103, verse 2. Okay. Verse 1 says, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Now, these benefits are the grace packet. Don't forget it. Always remember what is yours. Because if a man does not know what is given to him, his inheritance, he will suffer as a slave, not knowing that he owns everything. The prodigal son, a good example, the, the one at home, the boy at home, I mean, he was busy working and working for what was his. <laughs> when, the, when the prodigal son got back home and the father said, you know, kill the fattest calf, let's throw a party, let's, you know, have... Give him all and, and, and celebrate and all that. The elder, the elder brother was not happy. He said, ah, what's all this? I've been in this house walking my life, walking and walking and walking. Yet, I've not, they've not thrown this kind of party for me. They've not given me access to all these things. The father said, hello. In case you, don't, you didn't get the memo, everything in this house, they are yours. Why walking for it? <laughs> and that is what most believers do most christians you are working laboring to get what is yours it is work when they tell you you have to sow a seed to receive the blessing it is work it is religion when they tell you you have to drink the oil or, 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 or do something to get what god has blessed you freely that is religion you don't need to do any of those but to believe. Only believe. It's your faith that links you, that connects you. Praise God. All the, all the gimmicks that they do is because 
people are looking for what to do to earn it. You cannot earn the inheritance. It's an inheritance. Duh. <laughs> you don't earn it. It's yours. Forget not all his benefits. Who forgives all your iniquities? You have been forgiven. You have been forgiven. This is part of your inheritance. I have been forgiven past, present, and future. God has forgiven me all of my sins. The one that I will even that I've not committed yet, I have been forgiven. I don't need to come to God asking God to forgive me again. He has done it. All I need to do is to receive his forgiveness. Hallelujah. There is therefore no condemnation. Because sin was what brought condemnation. And Jesus has taken away the sins of the world. He has taken it away. So therefore, as long as I'm in Christ, there is therefore no condemnation. Because in Christ, sin has been dealt with. In Christ, sin has been abolished. Oh, John 6, 29, Jesus answered and said unto them, This is the work of God, that you believe on him who he ha whom uh, he had sent. So the work of God, the only work that God wants you to do, thank you, Sammy, the only work that God wants you to do is to believe on him. That's all. Not drink anointing oil, not break coconut on your head, not go on a, on one uh, one pilgrimage journey. Don't go and take river of Galilee and lick salt of the water. I don't know all these gimmicks that they do nowadays. All those don't work. It's not that is not God's pattern. That is not God. That is not the way you enjoy the inheritance of God. Odwaya, God bless you. The way you enjoy the inheritance of God is only believe. John 6, 29, Jesus answered and said unto them, This is the work of God, that you believe on him whom he had sent. That's believe on the Lord Jesus, because it's in Christ. Your sins have been taken away in Christ, so there is no condemnation on you. It's part of your inheritance. Hallelujah. So if you find yourself in Christ, you enjoy, you enjoy the privilege of, of not being condemned, of, of, of no more condemnation, of being justified. The, your slate is clean in Christ. It's not of your works. It is Christ that died. Amen. Hallelujah. Say, forget all the benefit. Who forgives all your, uh, your iniquities? Who heals all your diseases? Listen, healing is your inheritance. It is yours. It is yours. Don't beg for it. Activate it. Don't beg for it. Activate it. It's yours. Sickness is not your portion. It's not part of what God willed to you. It's part of what God crushed on the cross. So you've got to activate the power of the cross and lose every sickness from your body by the spirit of grace. By virtue of grace, it's, by, it was, it's grace that God released unto you that gives you power. Eh, that gives power to your mortal body. By the virtue of the message of grace, you lose it. Break loose of those whatever. You ought not to labor under those curse because the curse has been crushed on the cross. It is your benefit to live a costless life. It is your benefit. Amen. Who heals your disease? Who redeemed your life from destruction? These are your benefits. Who crowned you with loving kindness and tender mercies? That's grace. He crowns you with grace, with favor and tender mercies. Woo! These are benefits. These are your package. Hallelujah. Who satisfies your mouth with good things? Hello, I love good things. Your benefit, your inheritance. God satisfies your mouth with good things. Are you listening to me? So that your youth is renewed. You could be fresh. You could be bamba. You could be fresh. You don't need to chill with the big boys. You're already chilling with the big God. When you chill with the big God, you could be fresh. You could be bamba. Hallelujah. <laughs> your youth is renewed like the eagles. Hallelujah. One of these, I'll, I'll teach you on how the eagle renews his youth. Amen. Your youth is renewed as the eagles. You go to bam bam. You go to chill with the big God. 
Amen. You are chilling with the big God. Duh. So ladies and gentlemen, I came to announce to you that grace is your inheritance. All you need to do is walk in it by believing. Only believe in his son because grace is in his son. So when you identify in, uh, when you identify with Christ, you can receive or partake of this inheritance. For the Bible says that in him, that God has chosen us in him, God has, uh, uh, has called us in him we have we, we have been made god's uh, 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 heritage or god's portion and we have obtained an inheritance it's in christ hallelujah if you're listening to me and you are you are not yet in him and i, I want to use this opportunity to reach out to you you want to be born again you want to be in christ it's simple it's by only by believing that's that's the only work you need to do just believe Believe what? Believe his death, burial, and resurrection. Believe that that's the full gospel. Believe that he died. When he died, he died for your death. And you died with him. Yourself died with him. Believe that when he died, he carried your sins. And he, he, he became your sin. He became your curse. He became your, your weaknesses. He, 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 he became all that on the cross. Believe his death. Believe that when he was buried, it was you. That was buried with him. Amen. He was buried to show that the, the price that he paid was complete, was total, was full. Amen. That there was no, there was, in fact, he died completely. That's, that's just it. So when he died, you died with him. When he was buried, you were buried with him. And believe that when he rose up for your justification, he made you righteous with God. Bible said by his resurrection, we are made right with God. Believe that when he rose up, he, you rose up with him. It's by faith. Because Jesus came to represent you on the cross. Self was on the cross. That was self. <laughs> Christ gave himself. That was self. The self of Christ on the cross. Which identifies with yourself. So when you believe this, then receive him. What do you receive? His life. You receive his life because he gave himself for you. Then you receive his life. I receive you into me. I receive your spirit. I receive you as my Lord. I receive you as my Savior. And the Bible says in the book of John chapter 1 verse 12, As many that has received him, to them he gave the power, the right, the privilege to become the sons of God. And that's how you become. In him, the Bible says, we are made heritage. Of God, we are God's portion in Him. Praise the Lord. If any man be in Christ, is a new creature. That's how you become you come in Christ by faith, believing in Him. For God so loved the world, He gave His only begotten Son. Those of us believes in Him should not perish. Do you believe? Do you believe Jesus is Lord? Do you believe Jesus came to save you? Do you believe Jesus died for you? Do you believe Jesus paid the price for you? Do you believe Jesus has redeemed you? Do you believe Jesus came to, to, to rescue you? Do you believe? Do you believe that Jesus is the Son of God? Do you believe? Do you believe? Once you believe, then receive. Close your eyes if you want to be part and partaker of the, of the inheritance as we pray. In the name of Jesus, for those of you that want to uh, be born again and want to be inculcated into the family of God, it is in Christ. You, can't, you don't jump into the family of God by wishing it or by having a Christian name or by going to church 247 or, or by speaking Christian language. We call it Christianese. That's not how you become a family. No, you become a family of God by receiving His Spirit. Believing Him and receive Him. First men that received Him, you know, to them He gave power. Oh, close your eyes and say this prayer after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I believe you. I believe you died for me. I believe you are the son of God. I believe you came to represent me, to take away my sin, to take away my curse, to take away my weakness. You came to give me salvation. You came to deliver me. You came to rescue me from the grip and hold of the devil. I believe on your sacrifice on the cross. You died my death. You were buried with me for, for, me, for me and I was buried with you. You raised up, you, you, uh, you rose up for me, and I rose up with you. By the virtue of your resurrection, 
I have righteousness with God. I can stand before God. I've been declared right before God because of what you did. Because of what you did. I believe you, Lord Jesus, that you are my Lord and my Savior. Let your blood that you shed on the cross, let it wash me and make me whole. I receive a newness of life. I receive a newness of life. Let your Holy Spirit come and dwell in me. Come and live in me. Come and abide in me. I receive you. I declare that you are the Lord over my life. In Jesus' name. If you have prayed that prayer, saints of God, then you are born again. You are welcome to the family of God. You are welcome to the heritage of God. You are welcome as God's portion. You are welcome. You are welcome now to activate and to receive the inheritance of God. The inheritance of God is yours. This is how you legally receive it. You, are, have, the, you have the legal right now to receive and walk in inheritance of God. Ladies and gentlemen, remember, grace is the inheritance of God. The will of God that he wrote in heaven, his will is done in your life. Amen. His will is done. His will is manifested. His will is imparted to you. His will is conferred to you. His will is transferred to you. Amen. Walk in the will of God. Walk in the, in the, in the grace of God. Walk in the inheritance of God. Walk in this knowledge. When you walk in this, hallelujah. Praise God. You experience the largest of God. Amen. So be conscious of this. I've got my inheritance in Christ. I've got my inheritance in Christ. The benefits, hallelujah, is in the will. The blessings are mine. And this is the grace package I've received. Till I come here again, ladies and gentlemen. Um, tomorrow is Thursday. And we have the conversation. Amen. And Friday we have what we call Rema Hour. We go deep into the word. And never you forget this. The last Sunday, uh, the last Sunday evening of every month, we have what we call a physical fellowship, what we call Destiny Ways Connect. It's, a, uh, it's an evening of word, worship, of, of prophetic declaration, of form, of laughter, all, all good pleasures in the presence of God. Don't miss it. Amen. For next month, uh, I, I trust that God will do mighty things for you today. I pray over your life today that the grace of God will speak for you. Your inheritance will speak for you. Your inheritance will be, pro will, will be uh, uh, pronounced in your life. Uh, your inheritance will open doors for you. Because of inheritance, favor will garrison you. Because of inheritance, because of in your inheritance, men will rejoice over you to do you good. In the name of Jesus, because of your inheritance, every closed doors are open because of your inheritance. In the name of Jesus, I speak over your life today that you will walk in sound health and sound mind and goodness. You will walk in the favor and the mercies of God. Because of inheritance, you will live a joyful and a good life. In the name of Jesus, so shall it be upon you in Jesus' name. Amen. Walk in the inheritance of God is yours. Thy will be done on earth as in as in heaven. Grace is the inheritance of God. Till I come here again, never forget this. God has set you up for greatness and you fulfill your destiny in Christ. Keep living and keep on believing. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. So excited. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. Thank you very much for joining. Hallelujah. Praise God.